I guess 10 minute jump rope workout. Thank you for joining this workout. You can follow along with me throughout the whole workout today. We've got 10 minutes coming up before we get to started with the workout today. Build this workout to help you improve your foot speed, improve your athleticism, build your cardio base, all the good things you need to be. A better boxer, obviously, but also if you're not a boxer, just great for getting in shape and building your overall athleticism, coordination, all the great stuff that comes with being able to jump rope. If you're new to jump rope, this is a good place to start. We're not gonna be doing anything too complicated Day. We are going to be pushing the, the heart rate a little bit. I'm going to track my calories as well. Track yours. Let me know in the comments what calorie burn you got. I'd love to know how effective it was for you as well. Quick preview of what's coming up. We're going to start with a 30 second jump rope warm up. Real basic pattern. Take a 30 second break. Then we're going to get to it. We're going to be working for a minute at a time. Halfway through we're going to do a little 20 second intervals. And then we're going to repeat that second pattern for the second five minutes. At the end we'll do a quick review. And then I'd love to hear how it went for you. Thanks to Box Rope. The best jump rope on the market right now. I love this thing. Check out the description. You can use code GLEN15 for a 15% discount on that as well. All right. So let's get to it. We're going to get warmed up. All right, guys, we're away. So warm up right now. We're just going to go for 30 seconds, going right over the top of the head. Nice, steady tempo right here. And we're just doing, going real basic pattern, both feet together. Think about trying to relax the shoulders. Pull the shoulders back, but relaxed. Breathe in nice and slow. Now, right here, you don't have to jump too high. Keep that same rhythm in the arms. Breathe in nice and slow. And then in five seconds, we're just going to rest. Three, two, one and relax. All right, now we're gonna take a 30 second break. Just shake the legs off, get the heart rate back down, get our mind right to go for a minute. So coming up, we're gonna go for one minute straight, 60 seconds, and on this next one, we're gonna alternate the feet. So we're gonna start with two bounces on the left, two bounces on the right. The rope's gonna be the same pattern the whole time. What I want you to think about with this is keeping that same rhythm in the wrist and keeping your rope nice and tight right over the top of your head. All right, so here we go in three, two, one. We're back in. Ropes coming over the top of the head, two left, two right, two left, two right. Now we're going for 60 seconds right here. So try and get into your rhythm nice and early and then just keep that rhythm the whole time. Two left, two right, keep it going. One full minute, two left, two right. Breathe in the whole time. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Shoulders nice and relaxed. Concentrate on keeping the breathing nice and slow keeping that rope tight over the top of the head. Now I want you to try and go three left, three right. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Three, one, two, three, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Keep that going for the next 10 seconds. And then we're gonna take a 30 second break coming up. So keep that breathing under control. Three, two, and time, relax. Deep breaths right here guys, 30 seconds off. So a little rest. Next pattern, we're going back to 60 seconds on. We're gonna to go to the regular pattern that we started the workout with. We're going feet together. Now what I'd suggest for this most basic pattern while you're jumping on both feet, keeping the feet pretty close together. You've got that narrow center of gravity, just allows a little bit more control. One thing to think about as well, not collapsing into the knees like this, right? Keep the knees kind of back, rely on the calf muscles. All right, here we go, on that bell. 60 seconds, just on a regular pattern right here. Both feet working together. Both feet are pretty close. I'm not allowing the knees to collapse and bend. I'm keeping the feet solid on the ground, gripping the floor every time I land. And that's allowing me to use the calf muscles, the ankles, smaller muscle groups in the feet. Breathing the whole time, keeping that rhythm with the wrists. And just nice, slow, relaxed breathing. Keep it going, guys. You guys are doing great. This is good. Keep it up. We've got another 30 seconds. Just stay with it, staying on rhythm. Deep breath in, try and control that heart rate. That's it, good work, keep it going. We've got another 30 second break coming up. If you're feeling your calves burn, they're on fire right now, your ankles and feet are working, that means we're doing it exactly right. We're working, that's what muscles we're supposed to be working. 10 seconds, keep it going. Keeping that tension in the rope, keeping it tight, using the wrists, and then in three, two, one, nice and relaxed. 30 seconds, chance to recover right now. Deep breaths, shake the legs off, feel it burn through the ankles right now. All right, so the next one, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, little interval. We're gonna up the intensity a little bit now. We're gonna go into high knees, which means one, 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 right? Rope over the top, wrist rhythm still the same. We're gonna go in 10 seconds, so let's get ready for that. So we're going one, one, knees up, and then in three, two, 
One, let's go. All right, 20 seconds, we're in. So we're on the high knees, keeping that tension in the rope. I'm just bouncing, one, one. And think about minimal contact with the floor right here. 10 seconds, keep that rope tight. Shoulders are relaxed. Knees should be about hip height. Keep driving those knees up. Light on the feet. Two, one, relax. Only 10 seconds recovery now. We're gonna do that exact same thing again on the bell. Let's go in five, deep breath, three. And we're back in. 20 seconds on those high knees. Keep breathing. That's it guys, stay on it. Keep the legs quick. Minimal contact with the ground. Keep it going, don't stop. We got 10 more seconds. Shoulders relaxed, staying in the same spot. Try not to go forward to back. Three, two, and time, relax. All right, 30 seconds recovery. We're gonna repeat that whole pattern. All right guys, so we just finished those high knee sprints. Now I want you to keep the rope going and just slow the intensity down. Now we're into the second half. This is the second part. So what we're gonna do right here is just repeat that first half. So we're on nice, low intensity now, bringing the heart rate down while still moving. And then in 10 seconds, complete rest. Keep it going, breathing, sweating now. Three, two, and relax. Nice. All right, enjoy your 30 second rest right now. Well, during your rest, your recovery is your only priority. So your only priority now is to concentrate on getting the heart rate down as quick as you can. Relaxing your body, relaxing your feet and your legs. And deep breathe, a long inhale, long exhale. Now we can really attack this second round, this second half. So we've got a minute coming up, right? We're gonna go alternating feet again. Starting in three, two, one. All right, so we're on the alternating feet again. Alternating feet, two left, two right, two left, two right. Now, remember with this, guys, when you're alternating the feet, your feet don't have to do too much work. You don't have to lift it like this or get too big, right? Because the rope's gonna get caught like that. So just get your rhythm and then just think less is more with the feet. It's just an inch or two off the floor. You're just slightly lifting the foot. Less is more, efficiency is key. Two left, two right. For the next 30 seconds, Stay on two left, two right, and think about high, how high are you lifting the foot. Don't worry about lifting it too high. Just enough to get under the rope is fine, or for the rope to get under the feet. All right, we've got 15 more seconds. Two left, two right, keeping that same rhythm with the arms. Don't tighten up in the neck. Breathe nice and slow. Shoulder blades back, nice proud chest. Last five seconds, and then we've got a 30 second break. Three, two, one, and relax. Keep hold of the rope. Take some deep breaths. You guys are killing this. This is good work. 30 second rest. Now we're gonna go one minute on the regular pattern. We're gonna start that in 15 seconds. So the regular pattern, same as what we did in part one. Remember the narrow feet, both feet together. Ropes keeping the same rhythm. We're going in 10 seconds. Let's get ready. Take a deep breath in. We're almost there. Regular feet coming up for 60 seconds. Three, two, one. Let's go. 60 seconds just on a regular pattern right here. Both feet working together. Both feet are pretty close. I'm not allowing the knees to collapse and bend. I'm keeping the feet solid on the ground, gripping the floor every time I land. And that's allowing me to use the calf muscles, the ankles, smaller muscle groups in the feet, breathing the whole time, keeping that rhythm with the wrists and just nice, slow, relaxed breathing. Keep it going guys, you guys are doing great. This is good. Keep it up, we've got another 30 seconds. Just stay with it, staying on rhythm. Deep breath in. Try and control that heart rate. That's it. Good work, keep it going. We've got another 30 second break coming up. If you're feeling your calves burn, they're on fire right now, your ankles and feet are working, that means we're doing it exactly right. We're working, that's what muscles were supposed to be working. 10 seconds, keep it going. Keeping that tension in the rope, keeping it tight, using the wrists. And then in three, two, one. And we're back to those high knee intervals. Let's go, 20 seconds, work, let's go. High knees up, 20 seconds on the clock. Keep that rope tight, keep it quick. 
I want you to really push your speed. Now this is the last one. This is the last part of the workout. Really work for it. Let's get that heart rate up. Be explosive. Knees up, knees up. Come on, last five seconds. Then we've got a 10 second rest. Go, go, go. Three, two, and relax. 10 seconds off. Big deep breaths. We've got one more. 20 second burst to finish. Get your rhythm going. Three, two, one, and we're in. It's your last 20 seconds. Quick feet, minimal contact with the floor. Eyes straight ahead, slow breathing, quick legs. Go, go, go. 10 seconds left. Come on guys, finish strong, you got it. Work for it, go, go, go. Three, two, time. Done. Great work guys, so there you have it. 10 minute jump rope workout, 250 calories in 10 minutes. With the rest periods as well, so good work guys. Hopefully you got a lot out of that. Hopefully you learned a little bit about some technique as well. Once again, thanks to Box Rope, best jump rope on the market. If you're in boxing, if you're not in boxing and you're just going to the gym, grab yourself one of these. Code Glen 15 gets you 15% off. The link's in the description below. I'd love to hear how you did in this workout. Did you keep up? Did you finish fast? Did you burn 250 calories? Let me know in the comments. Check out the 15 minute version right here. Thanks for watching.